Anycubic just announced the first consumer resin printer that supports both dual color and material printing at the same time. I'm Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. That's right, Anycubic is back in the resin game with the Photon P1, and they say it can do dual colors or materials or dual colors and materials at the same time on the same printer during the same print. So I'm gonna watch the footage of the printer and kind of react about how I feel about it, kind of go through the marketing materials a little bit. And then in this video, we're actually gonna unbox the Anycubic Photon P1 and just check it out. See what it feels like, see what it looks like. So let's jump over to my desk, take a look at the marketing material, what they say it can do and what they announced. And then we'll come back here and we'll do the unboxing. So I don't want to bury the lead. So we're jumping right into it. Anycubic says that the P1 can do up to 8,000 CPS, professional grade and dual component resins. What does that mean to us? That means it can do a, a wide variety of resins from like beginner to advanced, from very thin to very thick. And as we watch this video, I wanna check out what they say it can do. So let's get into it. So as we see, they're dumping uh, one of the resins in the left side, and there's two vats here. Um, now they're smaller, it looks like they go over the top of the bigger one. But if you notice, there's two vats, and there's also, up at the top, there's uh, two build plates. So it looks like they did like a pink, maybe a, some sort of dental or flexible resin in the left side and a very clear resin in the right side. So I think this is kind of crazy. It looks like from what we're seeing in this video that it can print two different uh, models, maybe two different models, at least the same model on both sides. It would be really cool if this thing could do two different models, maybe uh, one on one side and one on the other, because then you could load up uh, multi models, like different colors, that kind of thing. Maybe you're doing a chessboard and you want to print uh both pieces you know like all the different pieces and the colors on at the same time really so i don't know about you but that looks like there's two different models the the left one definitely doesn't look the same as the right one it would be really cool to be able to put two different models in two different types of resin or maybe the same in two different colors that kind of thing I, I, that's going to be a really cool thing another thing they say is that it uses an industrial grade ball system for the uh, lead screw or the ball screw that's in there and we can kind of see that in this video here it kind of shows uh how it's supposed to be accurate that kind of thing i don't really understand the numbers at the bottom of this but that's okay all I know is it's supposed to be super beefy and hopefully micron level accuracy, but we're gonna find out when we start using the machine. Next, we see what they call smart thermal resin control, which means it can heat up the vat to like 40 C while it's printing. Uh, as we look in this video here, if we play it, it shows that it kind of heats around the vat like that. Uh, again, haven't seen this yet in person. I'm just going off of the of the video and kind of giving my, my feedback as I see it. My studio here gets down to around, I don't know, 50 or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, unless I get the heat going in here, especially in the winter. And I think it would be great to have the heated vat. Um, I'm wondering if it heats it while the, the dual um, vats are in there too. We need to see that. But in this video here, they pretty much just show that it's heating um, the vat as it's printing and, and keeping it hopefully around 40C like they said. The next thing that caught my eye was what they're calling, let me let me look and see what this is called to make sure I get it right. It's the Microdome Release Film Texture and that actually caught my eye in the video as well. It They say that it can combine the NFAP and Microdome textures to reduce the peel force by 60% uh, for a smoother, quieter and more stable printing um experience and so if we watch this it kind of shows how it does it it shows all those textures in there it kind of flexes and then you know if we if we watch it again it's really fast here but if we watch it it shows that it cures and then flexes and then keeps moving so i'm hoping that this uh, microdome release film texture uh will actually release which will make things faster and more clean because it's not getting stuck too hard to that fep so we're gonna find out next they're saying that there's something called the intelligent assist 3.0 which is kind of like your co-pilot, your AI of this machine, because AI is everywhere now, right? <laughs> um, what it does is it auto levels the platform, it dynamically adjusts uh, the lift height, the speed, 
all that stuff and it's and it actually detects safety risks in real time that's what their marketing material says um we can kind of watch what this shows us here where it actually is automatically leveling that platform and what i what i really think is cool about this is that um sometimes with uh resin printers especially in the past leveling is like one of the things that can make or break you right if you don't get it exactly right um you can have failed prints all over the place so i love the idea of automatically leveling especially if there's two different build plates and two different vats that could be huge um this tells you please rotate the lead screw according to this after it automatically levels it shows you what to do to get level the other thing um that i saw here was uh this screenshot i, I just took a quick screenshot because it was so fast but it said uh, the printing platform is not installed please install it it's really cool that the machine would know that so you you know you send a, a print to it and it's going to yell at you and say hey whoa the print uh, the print plate uh, the platform isn't installed so that could actually save you a failed print or a not started print really because if there's no platform it's not going down into the vat anyway i guess but it'll save you some time and yeah <laughs> looking more at their uh, marketing material for this printer they have something that's called the turbo light source 4.0 and they say that it's going to be a stronger uh, more uniform and more precise light source for sharper details and, and better prints and I, i'm just really curious to see how this works with the dual uh the dual vat system as we can see it kind of shines up through the bottom when there's one full vat obviously it only shows it only cures the image that's you know being portrayed for that layer right and that's what we're seeing because the bottom of these images here are what's being cured but when it has two vets um how is that going to go is it split like is it completely dark in the center and it only shines on the sides i'm assuming that's what it's going to do but that's interesting I'm, I'm hoping um the turbo light source 4.0 is uh, a, a really cool upgrade feature for these anycubic uh, printers especially the p1 here now listen just going through the marketing material looking at videos and kind of reacting to what my thoughts are on those is one thing um, like this screen, for instance, we have a quick release uh, build plate and, and resin tank, which is awesome. Looks like there's air pier 2.0, which directly exhausts the air. I, I think that's really cool because you need that with resin printing, especially me. I don't know why I'm sensitive to it, but I am. Uh, it looks like it's uh, less than 45 decibels printing. We'll find out. Um, the tilting, uh, tilted hanging resin platform. I think that's cool if it actually tilts and, and hangs um we're gonna find out what that means i'm not quite sure yet um of course the hinged flip cover i love that because you don't have to take it off of the printer which is great now if it hinges like straight up so you can have it closer to the wall and it doesn't bang the wall that'll even be better but um all of the above is really cool but i like hands-on stuff so they shipped me this printer i have it here i think we should jump over to the desk back here let's do a quick unboxing let's see what it comes with and see this thing let's touch it in our hands and and just kind of check it out this won't be a video about um printing with it and all that stuff but let's go and box it and and see what it comes with and, and check it out so let's jump to the bench now so anycubic did send over the photon p1 for me to check out and there's going to be a link in the description below if you want to check it out as well if you want to go through those marketing materials or even save some money before it's actually released by pre-ordering it so i think at this time it's just time to get this box open uh, i i have not seen it I have not opened the box yet at all. So uh, this is kind of be like us together checking it out as it gets unboxed. Let's just see how this thing looks right off the bat. And from what I see, there's a bunch of foam. We don't need that. Uh, there's a little box in here. We're gonna set that off to the side and uh, maybe some side cardboard. We don't need that. <laughs> but it does look like it's packaged very well and that's good. So that's how it looks like when I tip it up. Probably going to tip this box up so it's standing upright and slide it out. So now we got it tipped up. I'm just going to try to slide this thing out and get it out onto the desk. All right. Well, that's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. So this is how it comes wrapped. It was packed very good in a lot of foam. Hopefully that protects the acrylic on the outside. It always sucks when you get a printer that has cracked acrylic. It happens. It does happen. Shipping companies are not easy on these printers, but it does suck. There is a lot of peelage on this printer. As you can see, looks like uh, a piece here. Woo, that was a good one. Maybe right here. That was a good one as well. Um, it looks like inside the printer, everything else is packed. There's nothing else 
in the box except for this little guy and we'll go through that in a second. Just first thoughts right away, it looks really nice. It feels like the bottom is metal here. Um, the back is plastic. Um, if we look at the back right away, it looks like there is an exhaust port here. So that's, that's really good. I like to see that um, along with the power here. I don't see a power button per se. It's actually right here on the side of the screen. And on the front of the screen, you'll notice a pretty good sized touch screen here. We'll peel that bad boy off just like that. All right, let's get this thing opened and see what's inside. Right off the bat, earlier I was talking about how these hinged. You will need to keep this away from the wall that far. So if you see this, you will not be able to have, have this up against the wall very tight because of that. Now, maybe in this one, it's not that big a deal because you have your uh, exhaust port here, but still, um, I like to see them like the closer to the wall I can get the better because it gives me more space on my table, uh, if we're being honest. It opened really nice, it's thick, it's not gonna fall down on you, which is great. Kind of tips forward and it feels like there's stuff packed in here. And if we look inside, we have our vat and it looks like uh, some tape around the print head here and uh, probably some plastic on the bottom as well. Looks like it's packed well, that's good. We pop this bad boy open. If I pull this off, this is just kind of a cover. There is our uh, build plate. This says 223 millimeters by 126 millimeters. So that's what that one says there. I'm actually gonna leave it in there like that. I don't appear to see anything else though. I don't see dual vats uh, or, or something like that. Um, there's no other vats included unless it's in this box, which I doubt it, but we're gonna find out. Uh, in this box, I see a a small user manual to get you going. Um, there is your power cord here. Um, a little bag of tools. There's a scraper, four Allen wrenches, and a USB drive that comes in this one. Um, gloves and a filter for putting your resin back in the bottle. And a, a spatula that looks like that right there. I am a little surprised because I thought this was gonna have two vats. Like, I'm not sure how that works yet. I don't know if I just didn't get sent the other vats or or how it works, because how am I going to have two different materials if I only got uh, one one build plate? And it doesn't feel like there's nothing else in here. And this is I mean, it's a nice build plate. It's heavy duty. It's it's, very, it's actually pretty heavy in that case. But again, a little bit surprised that I don't see the like two vat thing, which is the whole idea of this printer. So I just plugged it into power. I'm going to hit this little power button here. There we go. Looks like it's booting up. You can see my surprise that I don't have the separate vats. I am going to reach out to him about that. I'm not sure if I'll have an answer before this video is posted, but I will have an answer before um, the next video. So but we can go through English, select the server address global, and then it says initial startup, hit start, install guide, continue. There we go. So you can see it's lifting now right there. That'll allow me to pull that tape off and get this out here. Now, I, I haven't gone through a lot of the specs except for what we talked about. There is a camera in there. That must be uh, with the AI stuff. I just took the little cover over. There is a cover for the camera too. So if, if you're interested in seeing that, um, that's cool. It looks like this just lifts up and down. So we're gonna take the build platform. There we go. Gotta raise it up and then push it down, which is super easy. So this just lifts up, slides out, goes on, presses down. So super easy. Now it says install the resin vat. Well, it is installed currently, but I think we should release it to get the plastic off. So how we do that is it looks like we pull these two little flaps and just like that, it's released, which is great. Um, it does look like there's a screen protector on the screen here and there is a screen protector on the bottom at least the bottom of the vat. It says, peel, uh, please tear off the protective screen before using. There you go. It is peeled. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's peeled. And then this one over here as well. There is a little, um, I don't know if you can see it right here, like a pad for electronics. And there is a place in the back of the printer where it touches too. Um, so that's interesting. But I'm gonna pop that down. Maybe that's how it knows if the, the vat is installed or not. Um, so both of those just click in. We're good. So there it is. That's the Anycubic P1. 
I can't wait to start using this thing and checking it out. It's been a long time since I had an Anycubic printer, uh, let alone an Anycubic resin printer. And from the looks of this, they've come a long way. I really hope the prints we get off of it show that as well. Uh, I'm not sure about the multi vats and materials and resins thing. Editing Jim here. I did talk to them and they actually are sending me the dual vat and the dual plate. It's being shipped. It wasn't ready when the printer shipped and I didn't know that. Uh, so it should be here hopefully soon before the next video gets released, fingers crossed. Otherwise, I'll probably make a third video showing that. But hopefully right now, the uh, but hopefully right now the hope is it gets here and I can use it before I release the next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, again, I'm going to reach out to him and I'll let you know. So stay tuned because another video is going to be coming out soon where I actually give my thoughts about how the printer works, show off prints that it does and stuff like that. So again, if you're interested in this printer and you want to save some money uh, by the pre-release and you want to check out the specs and kind of dig into it yourself, which I highly suggest you do, there's a link in the description below that will allow you to put just a $10 uh, deposit down and reserve your spot to get this printer for only $449. Uh, again, I haven't tested it yet, but if it prints as good as it looks and it, as good as they make it sound, uh, it'll be definitely worth that $449 price. But we'll find out soon in that next video. So let me know in the comments uh, what you would print with this machine, especially with the two vets. Maybe it's multi-material, maybe it's multi-color two different models at once. If it allows us to do that, we're gonna find out. Stuff like that, I'm actually looking for your ideas uh, on what to print when I test this thing out. I would love to hear what you think. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video and, and you wanna get subscribed so you get notified when the next video comes out that actually shows this thing working and the prints that I got off of it here in a couple weeks. And as always, if you haven't seen this one right here, you definitely have to check that out next.